it was like I know that he's coming, but it was still unexpected. All of a sudden, he's there, and I'm looking in his at his eyes, like right, like not even a feet away from me. It's like, wow, that's Arnold. That's actually talking to me. Alongside the champion of the Classic Physique Division here at the 2024 Arnold Classic, Wesley Vissers. Wesley, you said you were going to do it. You did it. You are the champ. How do you feel? Yeah, it's an unbelievable feeling to be the champion of this competition, my dream competition to always have won. And to have Arnold himself give this trophy to me. It's just the biggest compliment in the world for me, so I feel over the moon. But honestly, I still can't really grasp it, so it's mm. going to take a while for me to really understand what just happened. But for now, I'm incredibly grateful and happy for this night. Well, I have to ask you, because obviously, ever since you broke onto the scene, there have been the obvious comparisons. Yeah. You, Arnold, the facial resemblance, the accent, the posing routine, everything down to your on-stage presence. You told us last night how much it meant for you to compete at this competition. Yeah. Take us through that moment when Arnold emerges on stage to shake your hand. <laughs> it, 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 it was like, I know that he's coming, but it was still unexpected. All of a sudden he's there and I'm looking in his, at his eyes like right, like not even a feet away from me. It's like, wow, that's Arnold. That's actually talking to me. And he's not doing his regular thing where right, he's asking right, oh, right. how hard did you train but he, training, yeah. he actually made some he thought of something special for me which is also just an unbelievable thing that i will never forget he compared you to lou ferrigno yeah. which i think surprised a lot of people because i think a lot of people were expecting him to say you remind me of myself yeah. no he said you know i was looking at you and posing you remind me of lou ferrigno but that's i think that's arnold yeah. he's never gonna gonna say that anybody looks like him so he's that's gonna fair. say the yeah. next best thing is lou ferrigno which honestly the thing I got out of it, he compares me to a golden era bodybuilder, yes. which for me is the most that's important thing. Yeah, that's an unbelievable compliment for me. So last night, again, you talked to us specifically about um, the improvements you made, some of the size, um, in, in terms of bringing a better look. When you, a bigger look, I'm sorry. When you walked onto the pre-judging stage, Dave Palumbo said, this guy takes up a lot of space on that stage. Very wide. What was the game plan coming into this Arnold Classic? Yeah, so of course, uh, we never did a true off season because we came off the Olympia and after the Olympia, I did the Romania Pro to right. qualify for this year. So there wasn't really an off season, which means I started this prep leaner than before. So then normally, so at the new years, like uh, January 1st, we started to prep for, uh, for this show, which means I was actually ready a few weeks out. And then we just started to make sure that my body, which is tall, it needs the fullness, so right. it needs yeah. to get rid of like the fatigue, the die fatigue, the cardio, the steps, so we could lower it down, eat a bit more. Because my coach gave me the most refi days ever, because my weight kept dropping because my body was feeling energized, the metabolism went up. So I, well, my workouts were great, I kept getting stronger. So my body needs to be full and fresh, and that allows me to get more condition as well. And it just all came together. In the last week, like, this, like I flew over here, which was, I have to say, one of the most smoothest travel experiences I've ever had. Nothing went wrong for once. No suitcases lost or anything. <laughs> no delays. So we came here in the middle of the day, had a great workout. We had a great sleep was pretty well, no jet lag. So every single day I kept looking better and better. And then we started the peak week. So... Uh, I easily made weight, even after a full day of eating carbs, because I actually lost weight, which is actually a good sign, mm. because that means your body is, is taking it in, but also losing extra water weight. So I actually used the carbs correctly, and then I could keep uh, loading up. And because we've done multiple peak weeks, um, I actually looked drier, and knowing that the drinks don't too much water, so all in all, we learned a lot throughout the last few years, me and Stefan, my coach, and we now peaked it perfectly. So it just all came together. You know, when you consider the quality of competition that you had to overcome yeah. here at the Arnold Classic, and let's just, you know, call it for what it is. And I asked you this last night, that in the grand scheme of classic physique over the last couple of years, 
that if you felt overlooked, and obviously coming into this competition, so much, um, just about all the conversation was about Urs, yeah. was about Ramon, and for good reason, obviously, yeah. given the quality uh, that they've brought over the last couple of years, and you going up against uh, the world number two, world number three, and the defending champion yeah. in Ramon Dino. You know, when you walked out onto the pre-judging stage, did you feel as if you did your part? Did you feel as if what you presented at pre-judging was good enough for the win? Honestly, I'm not the kind of person who automatically thinks he's going to win a show when you're up against like literally the number two in the world. So this for, for me was the Olympia without Chris. Yes. So it was like, I know I'm number seven from the Olympia and me and everybody else basically, it's hard to expect to jump so many places ahead. So I was already happy if I beat one guy who beat me at the Olympia. That was already in my head a goal. And to beat two would, would already be a dream. But then, as I mentioned, because uh, everything came together this last week, I look at myself and I'm like, wait a second. Maybe I can do more damage than I thought. Which is when I told you this is going to yes. be more interesting than people right. might think. So then I thought, okay, now it's going to be a battle between me, Urs, and Ramon. That's what I thought. But then the prejudging came, and there was a four-man callout, and me and Ramon were in the middle, basically. You were in the middle, yeah. Yeah, so we were battling it out, and it didn't change. Normally, I have the feeling, okay, I'm placed automatically in the middle because of the num numerical order, and right, then I'm placed right, outside, right, right, right. usually, and then I stay outside. But I stayed inside. And right at that moment, I, um, I went backstage after the prejudging, and I saw some pictures, and I was like, okay this is a battle yes. it's actually possible right and i at first thought it was a five man call out because you're in the middle of, of, of things i'm used to a five or six man call out at least a call out where someone can be in the middle but there was no middle here so i was like whoa i thought ramon was in the middle but it was actually not it's between me and him right <laughs> and we'd also be remiss again brian ansley former yeah. two-time classic physique yeah. olympian again the quality yeah. of competition you're up against yeah the quality was insane like Everybody there is like of top caliber in the world. As you mentioned, like you have the previous R Classic winner and number two in the world. Right. Multiple ex Mr. Olympia in the Classic Physique. Like you have Urs, who is multiple th uh, third and second time at the uh, R Classic uh, yeah. Best Poser. So they were all awarded super high awards within Classic Physique. And I did not achieve that same kind of level yet. Until today. Until today. Until today. Right. So now finally what everybody keeps saying as feedback and the comments of all the incredible supporters and fans of the sport finally came into fruition. And I'm very happy that I've been able to provide, you know, that. And also for myself, it's just still unbelievable to me. But you know, in the grand scheme of things, the conversation for the Classic Physique Division is completely changed now. <laughs> the conversation was turned on its ear tonight because People were ready to fast forward yeah. uh, to the Olympia. Well, again, who is going to be the most likeliest to pick off Chris Bumstead yeah. should Chris Bumstead ever lose, you know, before, I guess, eventually calling it a career, whatever you want to call it. But, again, the prime candidates have always been Ramon, yeah. have always been Urs. Yeah. You now placed yourself squarely in that conversation. Yeah, and that's unbelievable. It, it indeed changes the whole outlook on how this year is going to go for me because now that I won this show it's going to make the Olympia way more important. It was already important, but now it could be that I'm battling Chris, which right now would be the most logical step because he's the only one now in the world who I didn't beat, <laughs> which sounds strange, you know? This guy's giant hunting out here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that could very well be a possibility. So I have to take that seriously now that they've awarded me with this prize. I need to take that in stride and do something with it. You know it. what? Let, let's let's do some breakdown here. What would Wesley Visser's now, given what you just brought to this Arnold Classic stage, what do you feel as if you would need to now do between now and the Olympia in order to give yourself the best chance at picking off Chris Bumstead? Yeah. I mean... Now you can think about it. Yeah. I mean, of course, I have a lot of time to think about it, but... I will always get in better conditioning regardless because I achieved this and now I know I can do this so I can go one step further. 
and automatically the size where it needs to go, like the legs, the glutes, the hamstrings, uh, the quad sweep overall. I mean, the upper body is already going to be good enough. I can tell yeah. you that right now. Yeah. It's the balance between the upper and the lower body. But the lines, because they were deeper, it makes the leg look bigger as well. So it's going to be more conditioning and more roundness in the lower body. And we nailed the peak. We know exactly what to do. So if that all comes together, it's not going to be an easy victory. Well, you don't have to say it. I just spoke to Dave Palumbo and he said if there's any guy in this division that has the tools to maybe pull an upset over Chris Bumstead, that it would be you. You score a major victory. This is a milestone yeah. accomplishment. We've called you an encyclopedia for the golden era, for classic physique. You're so philosophical about this yeah. division, about the presentation on stage, and this is just such a great fit to have you shake yeah. Arnold's hand yeah. and win this trophy. Wesley, yeah. honestly, congratulations. Thank you. It has been a great story to see your rise and to now cap it off with this big yeah. accomplishment. Enjoy it. Thank you, I will. And then you can do your homework for yes. the Olympia. Yes, I will do just <laughs> that. I will. Thank you.